hello everyone welcome to another video of ffl 24 7 in this video we are going to be reviewing the new nissan pathfinder 2023 model with the black top edition in the vibrant red color and as you can see the front has a big aggressive uh, front grille design in black color and it looks uh, amazing in and goes in contrast with this red color and I think this big uh, front grille design would look um, even more amazing with the white color or maybe the black color would be the cherry on the top. And it has a pretty good and decent looking LED for front lamps. And nicely designed the Nissan logo that goes uh, pretty much in contrast with the front grille. And they did do a very nice job with the side profile with glass black windows going all the way down to the third seating row. This particular trim is the SV four wheel drive model and uh, it's giving 23 mpg average uh, gas mileage with 21 in the city and 27 on the highway and just a general cost 50k they're advertising but let's see what they offer in full. So 2023 Nissan Pathfinder SV four wheel drive. So it has a pretty good safety features with Nissan advanced airbag system, lower anchors and tether anchors for children car seats, automatic emergency braking, intelligent 4x4 to give you optimum efficiency for performance and tool savings, blind spot, warning, rear cross traffic alert, lane departure, rear automatic braking, intelligent forward collisions. The premium package is an additional 2170 bucks, uh, but it comes with a panoramic uh, power moonroof, power lift gate for the trunk, tow hitch, second row captain chairs, second row also has a removable center console, which is amazing custom flexibility to create more space if you want. And illuminated kick plates, welcome lighting, and the black top edition is an extra 470, which gives the SUV luxury and sporty look. And uh, in my opinion, it's worth paying the few extra bucks. And the side mirrors do have the blind spot detection alert. And the total uh, MSRP retail is coming about to be 46,110. And uh, another, they add a few extra costs and it comes down to about 50K almost. But uh, obviously you will be getting some discount uh, when you go to the actual outlet. So these are 18 inches painted alloy wheels. And uh, we have LED headlamps and tail lamps and black top roof rails. And I love the way they designed the, the back with the black stripe going and cutting through the Nissan logo and the Pathfinder across the back, giving the SUV a good sporty look. So the trunk is power lift gate and uh, you can see we got some pretty decent amount of storage in the back. And uh, I will show you in a bit if you lift the but there is also some extra storage space. And you can easily fit a lot of stuff in this a hidden extra storage storage as well. So that gives you so much extra flexibility and room when you're traveling and you have long trips to plan. So even with the third row sitting up, you have a decent amount of storage and you can see all the way, it's this car, particular car is like a seven seater with uh, two captain chairs and power till get lifts so you don't have to like manual push and stuff the decent sized roof rails for carrying your camping and beach equipment if you're tra planning a road trip and black lights going from the back and coming through the side profile looks pretty cool and amazing and like i mentioned this glass window giving the third row passengers some extra air light as well so let's go and check how the interior of this car looks. So the side door has a standard uh, power controls for the windows and the side mirrors and the decent storage space to put your water bottle, your shake or coffee mug holder. Safety lock for children for the windows. Sound system. This particular package comes in the leather seating and the back and the driver's seat comes with a 10-way power drive seat with two-way lumbar support for enhanced comfort during long drives and some information about standard tire pressure system. The leather seating for the cars with a nice design in the middle. And these are heated seats. 
the steering wheel is wrapped in leather and the driver display is giving you both analog and digital displays with the seven inches advanced driver assist display the car also comes with a nissan intelligent key and has the remote start we have heated front seats and uh, leather seating all the way to the third row for the main display you're getting an eight inch color touch screen display with the wi-fi hotspot capability and the audio and infotainment system comes with the nissan connect powered by sirius xm we have apple carplay android auto electric brake assist and auto hold feature with the knob to shift the mode in the center console as you can see has pretty decent amount of storage and you can fit a lot of stuff easily in there and the regular cup two cup holders and let's see how much space we have in, in the back for storage it looks pretty decent to store some emergency equipment and some casual stuff the rear view mirror with the sunglasses holder and some controls for the moon roof lighting for the car sun shades come with the regular lighting and the mirror and the moon roof going all the way to the second door seating i think but this gives the car so much extra lighting this particular model is set up with the two captain chairs with the center console that is removable which is i think a very good feature and the third row seating they have also configured for three passengers but we will take a look at if we can really put three passengers back in there so really like this big moon roof going all the way through to the back so let's see how the second row seating looks like the side door mirror also has two cup holders which is pretty cool and the, the button to, re to remove the chair to ac get access to the third rows some storage to put your water bottle or your coffee cup holder the armrest looks pretty decent size for this suv and i have the front seat set up because i like to save it all the way back in the front seat and i still have pretty decent room regular air conditioning controls and the heating seat adjustments for the back seat passengers the usb c and regular usb and comes with the air home outlet as well the leg room for the second row is pretty awesome the seats also have reclining feature it gives you a very good decent recline so you can relax on your long drives uh, pretty good luxury for the second row passengers as well so not just for the front row passengers the front row seating looks also very nice i mean it's set up for three passengers but i think you can really comfortably see two passengers in the third rows the front steering wheel look from the back side the design of the dashboard is pretty nice with good controls for everything i mean it has a good combination of digital touch and the butter button controls so so let's see how we can access the third row seating well, this was not a very good way i mean i couldn't figure out how to get this working uh, they do have another button to have easy access to thorough seating. this was much better so let's sit in the car i am 511 and let's see how much legroom i get in the back so i mean it took me a little bit of challenge to be seated in the third row seating i mean I think you can maybe fit three slim people or three kids back in there, but uh, definitely not three big size, size items. So let's pull the seat all the way back. And uh, I have just good enough a le leg row with the second row seat adjusted a little bit forward. So, but I think for maybe one or two hours, I can sit there, but not for a very long drive. But uh, I like that my knees are not very high and not coming into my mouth. And this button to get easy access back out of the car. I mean, it's it's not bad. I mean, it gives you decent uh, access to get in and out of the third row seat, and you can still have the if you have babies and you have the car seat, and you can still do that with the car seat on. You don't have to take the car seat off. So the Pathfinder illuminated logo looks very nice, and I like they have the two cup holders for the back passengers as well. So this completes the overall walk around and tour of the new Nissan Pathfinder SV edition. 
I hope you like our review. If you liked it, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if so we can keep posting more videos for you.